Got to fuel up on some food here. It's going to be a long day in the sun. Anyone else get hangry? I get so hangry. It's crazy. Bagels, eggs, it's what it's all about. Hey everybody, it's Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, where my goal is to make you a better detailer. I've been so excited to do this video about a bucket heater. The reason I love this bucket heater is because I get questions on my channel all the time. Nick, what's the best extractor on a budget? I tell people, if you're on a budget, you're not going to get quality results. And part of that is you need hot water. How many times have I been on a mobile detail where you barely have access to water, let alone hot water? Some fancy houses have hot water. Most of the time, they don't. So I'm going to show you how this bucket heater from Excellent Supply in Florida, by the way, Rick's an awesome guy. Don't buy the crappy stuff off Amazon. Go through his website. I'm telling you, he has sourced the best stuff. This is an API bucket heater. I'm going to test it out, 1,000 watts, 120 volts. I have no idea what any of that means. We're going to test out how long it takes to heat up a bucket because if you have hot water in your extractor, you may have a budget level extractor that doesn't heat the stuff up. This will help you in a mobile pinch. We're going to try it out and see if it works. Okay guys, so I've shown up to this mobile detail job. What's pretty typical is I have access to water. I have access to their hose, but not hot water. So let's test this bucket heater out. This is model 742G in case you're curious. We'll rip it open, take a look at it. I do want to test it, see how long it takes to heat up your water. Okay, pretty simple, six foot cord, plug, and I assume you just drop it right in. Okay, according to the instructions, it says it heats it from 60 degrees to 130 degrees in 10 minutes, which would be amazing as a mobile detailer. We filled the bucket up with water, which yeah, it's a little grimy, it's hose water, but it's better than nothing, right? We want heat, chemical, heat, agitation, and time are huge for carpet cleaning. Chemical is your pre-spray. Heat is what we're trying to get here. Agitation is the brush, and time is that dwell time with the chemical. But without heat, you cannot make carpet magic. Trust me on that. Okay, so it says you do not want the handle or the cord to go into the water. Um, I'm going to plug it in first, which may or may not be what they recommend. Okay, I don't know if you're supposed to plug this in first or last, but I'm just going to try this. Drop it in here. Okay, stopwatch is on. We are going to take this bad boy out. Ooh, I can kind of hear it sizzle a little bit. It's been about 11 and a half minutes. You heard the fizz of this hot bucket heater going into the water. That means it was working. Uh, I'm back in the shop right now. I just want to kind of give you a sense of place. We tripped a breaker. It, we couldn't power this and a bunch of other things. It wasn't even this. It was that like they had one plug in the garage on this mobile job and the interior was nasty. I'll show you a couple shots here. There was vomit on the back of the seat. There was candy everywhere. Sometimes there's just not time to film a video and you try to make time anyway. So we squeezed in a little time on the front end and then it was time to get cranking. What I will tell you is this, the bucket heater does work. Now, a lot of people ask me about the budget extractors, right? And I'm gonna get to how long it takes to heat the water up in a second. But this is an example. They call these all different kinds of things. I'm sure they private uh, name a lot of these. It's the gecko, it's the easy spotter, whatever. But you've seen this size. Now this is a heated version, but it will not heat up water that's cold to start with. So in that case, you'd want the bucket heater. There's also your Bissell, there's your Rug Doctor. I mean, I'm talking about $100, $150 extractors that a lot of guys start out with. Those can work, right? You still want to extract stuff from seats. You can tamp down with a cloth to try to extract up, but that'll only go so far. So if you have a budget level extractor on a mobile job and you have either a generator or a couple of outlets that actually work, again, mobile's full of variables, the bucket heater can certainly work. So, how long does this take to work? It doesn't take 10 minutes, and maybe it takes 10 minutes to get to 130 degrees, and I don't even know what 130 degrees is. I'm gonna tell you the straight truth here. It takes 25 minutes. Stick this in a bucket of water for 25 minutes, and it will be piping hot. You dump that bucket into here, all of a sudden, you have yourself a hot water extractor. You don't need $1,200 for the Mighty Light. 
You don't need 2500 for Big Bertha, whatever giant extractor I have. Sure, the PSI helps, but what I really want to drive home to you guys is how important heat is for hot water extraction. For about three minutes, I had a carpet cleaning company, and I did a restaurant. Greasy restaurant floors, right? They have the carpeted area where everyone sits. I had my Flex Bio Break. I had Citrus Solve. I had every, like, heavy-hitting chemical that I could. But I didn't have a truck mount. All I had was my extractor. So I didn't have hot water. And I had water access from their sink, but it wasn't hot. And I wasn't getting the results I wanted. And I went to my rep. I said, why can't I get these restaurant floors, floors the way I want? I have all the chemicals. I have all the PSI. He's like, oh, but you didn't have heat. And you were relying even on your big extractor to take cold water and turn it hot. He's like, you need heat to cut through grease. So I'm just telling you guys, 25 minutes with this thing, and it works. It wasn't 10 but if you just set it aside, go about your business. Start heating a bucket. Blow out the interior with your leaf blower or your, extra, or your compressor. Start vacuuming. Oh, that's hot? Dump it in here. Pour another bucket, another 25 minutes. It takes me an hour to get all this stuff and usually blow out an interior anyway. By the time you've done that, you can have two buckets of hot water, and there you go. Where does this rank on the list of must-haves and not must-haves? I don't know, it just kind of depends on you because I know a lot of guys can't afford one of these $1,200 Mighty Lights, let alone anything above that. If you have a couple hundred bucks for an entry level extractor, you want to spend another, I think this is like 50 bucks, it may not be a bad idea. What do you guys think? Am I crazy? Does it seem like a good idea? Um, I'll put a link below. I get no credit for those links at all. Just Rick's a good guy and he's given me a lot of great advice and I've wanted one of these for a long time. and. I'm sure they'll be great, especially come wintertime, uh, as hot water becomes an even bigger issue. Another thing you can do, you can get hot water from your bathtub, pour it into buckets, and bring it to a job. It's just really annoying. But you guys will find a way to be creative and figure it out in the moment. This is a tool. Let me know if you think it's worth it or if you can live without it.